Bars are particularly challenging for COVID-19 infection control measures simply because you have a lot of people in usually a tiny space packed together, close quarters, so you can't socially distance. Many times they're talking, yelling, even dancing. And on top of it, what are you doing in a bar? You're drinking and you're eating, which means you can't wear a mask. when we have asymptomatic transmission or even really mild symptoms, which we do see a lot in younger people, of, of course they are experiencing severe illness as well. So I think it's important to note that, but since a lot of their symptoms can be more mild, they may not even realize they're sick. They might just think they're tired from work or have a headache or allergies even. So that notion and then going to a bar it's, it's very easy for that mild symptom or asymptomatic or even pre-symptomatic transmission to occur. I mean, I think that there's definitely something to be said when we do lower our inhibitions, we tend to be a little bit more lax about safety measures like wearing a mask or socially distancing. So I, I, I do think it's fair to make that statement, but I think the hardest part about bars is that you really aren't going to be in them having a drink or eating food with your mask on. And that's the most critical piece. Most people are standing up or sitting in close quarters, talking to each other, very face to face. Yeah, you do? Yeah, I do. I think there have been a few little clusters associated with friends who have gone out to bars and restaurants. My gut says we're going to really start to see more. And I think the problem with this is there's a reporting lag. You know, a lot of this is contact tracing and understanding where cases are originating from. And unfortunately, with the high surges of cases across many states in California, Arizona, Texas, and Florida, public health systems are really overwhelmed. So it's likely that we'll understand those little clusters related to going out to bars in the coming weeks or months. So it's Everyone is just really exhausted at this point in the pandemic, and we all want to quote unquote get back to normal. But unfortunately, this is going to be the new normal for a little while. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And while we might want to go out to bars, they are one of the highest risk categories. And I, I think at this point, if you're in a state where they're closing, it's for good reason. It's